eggs? What are they doing here? There's at least three! And another three! And another! So that's, um... Loads! I wonder where the mommy bird is. I can't see her anywhere. I have to find her so she can look after her eggs. They might be ready to hatch and the baby chicks would have no one to look after them. Oh, I really need to ask Jenny what to do. <gasps> but I bet she's over by the Komodo Island. Oh, it's no good. I'll just have to go to the island. I need to make sure these eggs are safe. Muck will look after you. Bob, Wendy, help! I'm stuck. Huh? Uh. Uh. Leo, be careful! I've got to help him. What's going on? Bob, there's a dragon climbing that tree! It's gonna fight Leo! <gasps> Leo, don't worry. We're gonna get you down. Just stay really still. <sighs> okay, I'll try. Bob, I think I can reach Leo! See if you can step into Muck's pocket, Leo! I can do it. Don't worry, Leo. I've got you. Well done. That's perfect. Now Muck will bring you down as gently as he can, Leo. Good perfect, job, Muck. Muck. What's happened? Just a little accident, Scoop. Thank you, Muck. You're my hero. I'm not a hero, Leo. It's all my fault you got stuck up there in the first place. Why? What happened? Well, first I came over to find Jenny, and then that dragon hissed at me, and then I got scared, and then I backed into the walkway, and uh, now it's all ruined. We can fix it, Muck. The important thing is that you saved Leo. You were more worried about me than yourself, Muck. That really is brave. What did Muck save Leo from? Him. It's a bit bare for the bear. We're not finished yet, Muck. We still need to make it look more natural. So we've ordered some trees and bushes. Once planted, they'll help to stop the soil from washing away when it rains. Come on, Leo. Let's go and get them all. And I should tell Jenny how well we're doing. Scoop, you're in charge. Thanks, Bob. Just add some more rocks and soil to the top layer, but don't pile it up too high. OK, Bob. Finished. Hmm. It's not as high as I imagined. I think we should make it taller. Then it will be super impressive. We shouldn't build it too high, Scoop. It's a mountain. It has to be high. But what if that's not what Bob wants? A big, fierce bear needs a big, tall mountain to be happy. Come on. Just a tiny bit bigger. Well, okay. If it'll make the bear happy. And not quite so fierce. Lofty? So long as it's only a tiny bit bigger. Yay! Let's do it! What? We're not ready! Bob! Bob! What's wrong, Jenny? It's the bear! Oh, no. Don't say it isn't coming. Oh, it's coming, all right. But it isn't arriving next week. It's arriving today! Oh, what are we going to do? No, no, it's still not big enough. 
Aren't those rocks supposed to go around the pool? We just need a few more. Uh, the mountain looks quite high to me, Scoop. Real mountains are a hundred times bigger, and we need to make this as real as possible. You wouldn't want the bear to be sad, would you, Lofty? Uh, no, of course not. Then let's build it bigger. I suppose a bit more won't hurt. One more rock. Don't worry, Jenny. We're way ahead of schedule. We'll finish the enclosure in time. Have you ever built a sprung floor, Wendy? No, but I've danced on one. I had ballroom dancing lessons when I was little. Here. Sprung floors absorb shock, so they feel softer to dance on. And they can stop you hurting yourself, too. Oh, that one looks just right for ballroom bliss. Bob! I'm so excited about tonight. Do you dance, Bob? Ah! Obviously not. Sorry. If you can count, you can dance, Bob. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> Lovely, Mayor Madison, but I think we need to move on. <laughs> of course. Come with me. I'll show you where Sylvan wants the dance floor. I never thought I'd see Mayor Madison go all girly over some dancer from a TV show. Can you start unloading, please, Leo? Yep. I'll just moonwalk this way. Oh, you're going forwards and backwards. Moonwalking, it's a dance. Oh, let me try. You're just going backwards, Scoop. Oh, I suppose I am. Can you teach me another dance, Leo? Mayor Madison said that if you can count, you can dance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> you have to count in a rhythm, Muck. One, two, three. One, two, three. I get it. Me too. <laughs> I can't do that one. I bet you can do this, Lofty. Whoa. Sorry. Whoa, I'm dancing! Oh, I'm the wrong shape for dancing. Oh, that's silly. Everyone can dance a little bit. It's how it makes you feel. Not how you look that matters. Come on, let's unload. We put these rubber pads on the bottom layer of battens, then put another layer of battens on top of those at right angles. Like squares? Good, Leo. And then we put a final layer of battens on top at right angles again. It's a pattern, like weaving a basket. So that's 35 yards long. Ooh. What's that? It's a mirror ball to hang over the dance floor. As it spins, the lights bounce off it, like this. Oh, it's beautiful. I'd love to dance under that, Wendy. If we don't get started, nobody will be dancing under it. Come on. Ah, oh, Lofty, thank goodness. I'm having trouble holding the frames steady. I'll just have to finish the job by myself. I've not done too badly so far. The TV should be working any moment now. The tablet's picked up the signal, but the picture's really fuzzy. How about now? Thank you, Dash Lightning. You saved Guys? the green fly box. It was nothing. What do I always say? With a boom, boom, lightning strike twice. Well, I guess the TV's working. Go, Lofty! Go, Lofty! Woohoo! Anything else I can help with? How about a drink machine? One of those slushy things. I'm on it. Back to Chef Tanny's. Ah, well done, Leo. Finish the support frame all by yourself. Now all we need is the TV. Oh, yes, Sorry, guys, but the TV so needs to be turned off I now. Oh. <laughs> uh, Wendy, we need to take the TV to the stadium. Wendy. Bob, where have you been? We need to take the TV to the stadium. 
Now we have everything to cheer for Mila. Thanks, Lofty. Oh, that'll be two-ton with a giant TV screen. Lofty, get ready to lift the screen. And I'll make sure that Mayor Madison and the Spring City Rockets keep back. Towards the frame. There. And finally, we can take away the scaffold towers. That all looks nice and sturdy. Quick! The screen is falling! When you're ready, Wendy. Lofty, prepare to lower. Okay. And lower. <laughs> no, 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 no! I told you, please don't scare the horses. Oh, sorry, I, I forgot. This is a racetrack, not a road, no. Wasn't supposed to happen, was it? Where are my racehorses? Uh, they went that away. No, they're heading for the racetrack. We'll never catch them now. I think I know how to get those horses back. Wendy, Leo, get ready to close the paddock gate. Scoop, come with me. You're talking nonsense like Leo. Sorry, Scoop. Just head for that gap in the fence. Bob, how am I meant to keep up with racehorses? Especially extra fast, extra difficult to catch ones. We're not going to race them. We're going to use our own talents. Remember, they're also extra nervous and scared of machine noise. Oh, yeah. Hold up, Scoop. Wait for my signal. Now, let's go! Good work, partner. That was extra noisy and extra brilliant. You know, Bob, I think I might be a thoroughbred machine. Here they come. Ready, Leo? This is your chance to be a real cowboy and round up those horses. I grew up with horses. Here's what we're going to do. Lofty, extend your crane arm as far as you can and as fast as you can. We're going to make a barrier and steer them back into their paddock. It's not fast enough. It's not going to reach in time. Did I disturb you? Floor painted. Check. Paint drying. Check. Hey! I'm here to help get the tree house ready. Lofty, according to my schedule, it's time to hang that rope ladder. Uh, Wendy? Yes? You know that floor panel you just painted? Yes. Um... 
Taffy, wait! The paint's not dry! Wendy, what's wrong? Is everything okay with the treehouse? Yes, everything's fine. I just need to check the paint. Phew, because I really want to amaze the others. Lofty, change to the schedule. I'm now repainting the floor. Thanks, Muck. Can you take them to Wendy and quickly? I'm a little behind schedule. Isn't that right, Scoop? Don't worry, Bob. They'll be straightened in no time. Hi, Wendy. Just checking in. I've got the rope ladder in place, the viewing deck ready, and I'm just about to fix the windows. What about the flag for the top of the treehouse? There's a flag. I haven't got a flag on the schedule. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll make the flag. <laughs> Oh, after I fix my workbench. Hold it steady, Lofty. This glue will set the window, but it's very sticky. We don't want to touch it. How sticky is very sticky? Look, Wendy. Pictures of all the Spring City Rockets' favorite things. They're going to be so impressed. Careful of the sticky stuff, Safi. Don't worry, Lofty. I'll protect the window. Done. Come on, Wendy. Now we can hang the zip line. What's the matter, Wendy? Is everything okay? The treehouse will be ready, won't it? Everything's fine, Safi. You go. I'll be along in a minute. <gasps> Oof! Oh, I see. It's very, very sticky. Bob! I'm ready to start digging out the new path. Hold on, Muck. Leo is supposed to be taking care of Cooper before we start any noisy work. And Leo had better hurry. We're running out of time. I wonder where he is. Here, Pilchard. Pilchard, come to me. Oh, please. Bob's waiting to start work. Take care of Cooper. No, Pilcher! Careful! Ow! 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 Right. No one should touch the new plasterboard walls. The paint's still wet. Um, Bob, shouldn't the new door be in place by now? I'm waiting for Leo to take Cooper. Don't worry, I'll take Cooper. <laughs> then I'll come back to help you cut out the wall and lay the path. Now can I dig up the new path? Not yet, Muck. Now you have to wait for Wendy to come back. And yes, I know, Lofty, time is running out. <laughs> Good, Pilcher. Quickly now. I need to go get Cooper! <laughs> He'll turn! Stop, Leo! That's pet shampoo! And the floor will be slipping! Don't worry, Wendy! Longer. Muck, Lofty, you're gonna have to start the path by yourselves. Yeah! Oh, goodness. And I'll go and find the others. Cooper! Look out!
slowly, gently. That's it, Lofty. A little to the left. And now all the way down. It's in. Excellent job. Oh, that's one cool machine. Us mechanic types know these things. I could totally fix a car. No problem with the help of one of these. What's Scoop talking about? I don't know. I don't think he does either. Well, that's the final panel of roof in place. All we need to do now is put up the neon sign and take down the scaffolding tower. Looks like we'll have Curtis's surprise finished right on time. As long as there aren't any problems. Uh, hello? Could somebody help me? I seem to have a bit of a problem. What may I do for you today? Uh, what's the quickest thing, Chef Tati? The quickest? Oh, oh, well, the minute steak. That takes a minute. I take it. What about you, son? Don't keep the poor man waiting. We've got places we need to be. Um, so what's in the fish pasta? Fish and pasta. Right, okay, good, good. And, uh, ham and mushroom pizza. What's that? It's a pizza with ham and mushrooms on it. And how about the burger and fries? Is that, uh... Fries and a burger, yeah. Mmm, yummy. I think I'll have all of them. All of them? No. I'm a bit hungry. Okay, Mr. Bentley, I think all the tires are at the right pressure. Yes, but I think maybe a little bit more in this one. What do you think, Philip? Very well, sir. Okay, then. Just a little bit. A little more. A little more? Uh, no, I think that's too much. Bob, you've got a bit of a line building up. Hiya, Bob! Hi, Betsy. I'll be with you soon. We need to get going with hanging the neon sign. I know, but I promised to put the service into service station. Why don't you let out some of the air and we'll start again? <sighs> uh, hello? Leo, we're behind schedule, so you're gonna have to stall your dad for a bit longer. Uh... Sure thing. So, gentlemen, how about some dessert? No thanks, Chef Tati. I think we're both full, especially one of us. Uh, actually, I think I might have room for one of each. One of each? Oh, now that's one healthy appetite. Oh, wow! It's amazing! Very impressive. Lovely bone structure. Okay, let's get it inside. Go oh, careful now. That skeleton is 65 million years old. Thank goodness it's not a new one. Easy does it. Hold it still a minute. I gotta get some pictures. Look right. Uh, that is never going to get through there. What? But I gave you the exact measurements. What have you done? Oh, you told Bob the doors had to be six yards wide and three yards high. Yes. No. I, oh, I meant to say six yards high and three yards wide. Oh, dear me. Uh-oh. This is very bad. The door is too short and the dinosaur is too tall. It's never going to fit inside. But it has to. Mayor Madison is coming soon to make sure everything's ready for tomorrow's opening. But there's no way that dinosaur is going to get through those doors. What about sideways? Scoop. Uh, there might be a way. If we take the skeleton apart, we can carry all the bones inside, then put them back together again. I don't think that's such a good idea, Lofty. We shouldn't do anything drastic till Bob gets back. But it's getting late, and Mayor Madison will be here soon. I think it's a brilliant idea, Lofty. Come along, everyone. There's a T-Rex to take apart. This thing is 
are so fiddly. I think this one goes up here. Oh, dear. No, that can't be right. Maybe this one. Ugh. No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. Oh, this large one must be part of the uh, leg. So it must go here. Uh, oh, doesn't seem to fit. Oh, uh, what about this small one, then? It's part of the tail, isn't it? Uh, or maybe the left foot? No? Dear. What on earth? <laughs> <laughs>